Yeah. Uh, surprisingly, it's a little, it's a little weird to say, but uh, just because needles are so good, like Zex Sheik can actually compete a little bit with the camp of uh, Villager, just because the needles are so good. A little bit, yeah. Uh, Bandit is a lot more aggressive with his forward airs and back airs, though. So it could be a little difficult uh, for for Zex to get his needle needle game going. Yeah. I like that he's going more to the off stage, knowing that that's where this character they're they're vulnerable there. Yeah. I'm gonna say viable. They're vulnerable there, and uh, that's what a lot of people need to pick up about like character matchups. Is it's not just about you know whether a character's good or bad. But they have vulnerability spots that you can start to abuse. Right now, though, oh. Bandit is. Ooh, but we're 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 taken Villager. By here. Twice! We get a third one. We oh! Wow, Villager really flies after you pop the balloons. Oh, no up smash, jab attack. Yeah, Villager still is very, very heavy, so uh, going for an up smash is really the, one of the best options for killing right now. And then, man, her, Villager's tilts are just so fast. It's just really unfortunate if you're a villager player that they're so short range. But once you get in, those those up tilts and down tilts will kill. So I want to see a little bit more of that if he gets in, if uh, he has a defensive option. Zex trying to find that kill. Do you think uh, it's, it's more beneficial for villager or for Sheik to be on battlefield? Honestly, I would say Sheik. But just because platforms extend combos, yeah, uh, it's just like how Smashville, you know, uh, it's not off stage, so it's not going to lead to like early percent, but it will give him an opportunity to bring carry his opponent across the stage. And uh, if you play like Zex is going off stage, gives you a lot of opportunity. Cause there's a lot of off stage on Battlefield uh, to get some percent. He just also Battlefield is going to help him get those uh, perfect, I would say, tipper up smash yeah. in some of Mars fan. The fingernails. But that's the one thing I'm noticing about Zex right now. He's playing extremely patiently right now. He's just kind of picking his spots, and that's why he's doing it. Get in the lead, back air. He's gonna be taking a stock. Yes. Right there, like he's just picking his spots perfectly. But I want to see Bandit try to put up a better a better wall because yep. Zex is getting in, punishing these mistakes that he's doing. Honestly, a lot of it is that Bandit succeeds with his forward airs and back airs so often against his opponents, like in a lot of his games. Zex knows when to shield. Mm -hmm. That shuts down a lot of villagers. If villagers not right in your face, you're not going to get grabbed. Shield is a very, very strong option. Zex continues to just sit there, shield, run up, shield, stay out of range of the grab when he does decide to shield, and then he gets his opportunities and solid grabs. There you go. These projectile characters are like, you can punish them really hard. If you can master perfect shielding, yeah. it just puts in so much work. Oh, trying to get the grenade. Yeah, leaving out a projectile. Make things even harder. Yeah, I, wanted, I wish the Sheiks would do that more. Just throwing out the grenade, like it, it forces an option. Okay, you can run up and then just get the vanish. You can run up and get a uh, forward smash, up smash. Yeah, Zex has been trying to get the vanish kill a couple of times now. Yeah, vanish and Bowser Fish being one of the most uh, efficient, I'm, guess, I'm gonna say, uh, ways of killing, more guaranteed. But also, oh, up air can take it too. Yeah. We're just going to forget about what I was talking about. Again, <laughs> that's one of the things of having characters that are a little bit heavier. It's easier to get that up air follow-up. Zex ends up taking it over. Having a pretty easy time. You know, the, the match took a little while, but I mean, that's how you have to play the matchup. Uh, I think Bandit needs to make some more adjustments in being able to work at the inside game, in the close range game. And Villager actually does have some decent boxing tools. Because, you know, that jab, she got put on the boxing glove. She's solid. Down tilt, up tilt. Uh, down tilt and up tilt, like I said before, can kill and they put up a good amount of damage. Sometimes leading up to combo potential, depending on the percent. So if he can use that more, if he gets in, then he'll be pretty solid. A completely flat stage. I think that helps out Bandit a bit. It's going to be harder for Sex to completely avoid all of these aerials. But he's going to be getting fair just like that. It's what yeah. is it? Fair Desti Fair Fair Nation, Sheikville, and there's one other stage, and I forgot what it was. But you gotta pick your poison against Sheik. Seems like he wants to deal with the fairs. But he's doing a lot better than, than on the battlefield right now. See, nice use of Nair to keep 
Zex off. He's seeing when Zex wants to come in. He's learned from that last game. And now he's using more tactics to keep Zex out. And I just feel like when you're playing a projectile character, you need to pick your project the timing very specifically when you're using your projectile if you're against a fast character such as Sheik, yeah. such as Captain Falcon. And then you want to force a reaction. You know, Villager's Punish game is really good. But if you're just kind of throwing out moves, you have no chance to punish because you're the one always getting punished. Like right there, he's landing, got down, uh, smash, yeah. and needles. Uh, I think Sex was actually looking for a foot stool right there. Yeah. As he ended up jumping, oh! that would have been a great punish, but Bouncing Fish will do it. That is more than enough. Yeah, foot stool is just the style, but the Bouncing Fish is for the absolute. Now, uh... Bandit is a big fan of having the tree out because he loves to use the axe. It's a really, really strong move. He's not really fast, too. Yeah, and of course you have the tree as well. But don't let him get that block of wood because he has been working on a lot of setups uh, using that block of wood. Let's see what he can do here. Well, I think it was Bandit one time. I saw him get the block and then like later he pocketed oh. it, making it stronger. And then he had another block later on, so he had double blocks, like, thrown in the air. You see that back air screen across the stage. Zex trying to use uh, needles against the balloons there. Bandit's got the sapling in the ground. Yeah, Zex doesn't really need to do anything right now. Just kind of throwing out needles, get any kind of percent until he gets to that, like, magic, like, I believe 90 or 100 percent where he has his down throw kill combos. It is just looking way too easy right now for one, for Bandit to get percent, but for Zex to stay out of, of death situations. And that's a big problem. Oh, and Anair is not going to be taking a very good DI. He's definitely doing well. It looks like Zex is going to take this away unless Bandit has something up his sleeve. Nope, we got that melee, that fair, that rage, making everything so much stronger. Yeah, man. Well, solid job. That means